Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Patrick Jackson, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, how to do key presses on your CPM system using the Aztec State compiler dialect. Uh, we'll be using a VDOS call. Uh, it's very similar to um, uh, Kanayo.h from Windows, basically. Uh, that function, that the get character function, was basically exactly this, only for uh, the BIOS. So it's uh, actually fairly simple. Um, we're going to be using function six, and we're going to be using uh, option ff. So uh, I first didn't know how to do this at all. Um, I went, but I, I went on to Google Groups form for the RC twenty fourteen boards, and I asked um, basically exactly this question: How do I do get ch in CPM? Um, I had a vague idea of how to do it with the BDOS command, but I didn't really know. So this this guy Alan uh, he responded and uh, with his response and looking through the uh, looking through this uh, site I found and also the uh, the uh, Aztec C manual I was able to put together a working demonstration of the BDOS command uh, for essentially get ch so all this is is um, it BDOS will return what is in the A register of your CPU, and it it puts uh, whatever's on the I/O on, onto the A register, and just that's all it does. It just puts whatever's on the incoming line to your A register and quits. So let's make a program. So I have my trusty Z180. I'm going to boot into ZPM. Uh, it's essentially CPM, but just designed specifically for the Z80, and it, it's, it runs a bit cleaner. Uh, wrong button. Okay. Let's go with the A drive, RAM drive. Okay, nothing's in here. Uh, let's start programming. Let's use ZDE. Okay. Uh, main, you know, the basics. And here we go. So if we go... If we look here, it says uh, enter function six with enter function six with c equals six and e equals code. So what does that mean? So what that means is when we go to the uh, manual here, it says BDOS BCDE. Uh, if you know assembly programming or any vague knowledge of it, if you use TI graphing calculators in assembly, you know that BE uh, BC and DE are register pairs. So each register is eight bits. Put them together, you get 16 bits. So, it also, um, when you do uh, an int in the Aztec C compiler, it will be a 16. It will be 16 bits wide, not 32 bits wide. So, this is how we do. We do int bc de, and let's just do um, a for the incoming character. I call it a because it is the accumulator. And now let's set them up. Int uh, a equals zero. Int what bc equals. Let's look here. Bc c must equal six and e must equal the code. So because of the endianness of this CPU, bc can just equal six. And de has to equal ff. So just 255, there we go. Now let's do our for loop. Let's do, or while loop, should I say. It's the easy way to do it. Okay, now let's capture the incoming character because we're trying to do a key press, right? A equals BDOS, B, C, D, E, Okay, and now if a is not equal to zero, then print it. Because what, what will happen is if there's nothing there, it'll just print zero. And there is no care there is no key zero. There there's no ASCII code zero, so we'll be fine. Print F. Uh, let's format this. Pressed. Let's 
type it as a let's type it as a character, and then let's also type it as the uh, the ASCII number. A and A. And let's add um, a control C. Control C returns three. A equals three. Break. Save, quit, type main at C, looks all good. Uh, let's try to compile it. F -C, let's do CZ, because CZ is the Z80 compiler. There's a little bit of a difference, but not much. Um, CZ uses the IX, IY, it uses the A, IX, and IY registers. Also, it compiles it using these registers for Z80 processors. Um, if you use the CC compiler, it'll just do 8080 code. Um, so CZ code is 8080 bytecode, but also uses the IX and IY registers. Just makes it a little bit more efficient. What do I have here? Oh, of course, what am I doing here? Jesus Christ, that's... Let's fix this. Thought it looked a little weird. Let's try this again. That looks more like it. Okay, there we go. Let's try running it. Okay. So let's hit the key. I hit A, B, as you've noticed, it is waiting. C, D, E, F, G. H I J K K L. Here we go. Um, so it looks like, and if I hit shift, it will return the corresponding code. Um, if I hit arrow keys, it will, the arrow, each arrow key is actually three characters. It's escape, uh, open square bracket, and then a direction, A, B, C, D. So that is the basic code. Control C. That is the basic code to do key presses on CPM. Uh, this has to be uh, CPM 1.4 or later. But you know, if you're doing like a modern homebrew computer, that should be that should just be fine. Um, yeah, and with this, you can make essentially a get, get ch function. Um, the reason I'm making this is so I can uh, make a maze game using the arrow keys instead of just uh, the letter keys using scanf. Yeah, just a quick video. Um, see you next time.